Hi Cancer, this will be your first half of October reading. I am going to go back to doing the weekly reads very soon, but at the moment I'm going to do bi-monthly bi um, monthly readings where we'll go week by week, we'll clarify, we'll do some advice and some romance angels. So this will be a love reading. It's not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit that notification button if you haven't already and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. If you need a personal read from me, um, the details are in the description box below. I'm seeing a lot of other tarot readers getting scammed at the moment, so know that the only way to contact me for a personal reading is um, using the details below. So coming out in that pre-shuffle tower in reverse, you might be avoiding a disaster this month, Cancer. All right, let's see what we've got for the first three weeks. So this will go from the 1st until the 17th of October. What love messages are there, please, for Cancer for the first three weeks of October? 1st to the 17th, love messages for Cancer. Love messages for Cancer. Here we go, Cancer. Okay. Feeling a little bit foolish this week. You may be feeling foolish about a decision or maybe feeling like maybe you've made a silly decision. Okay, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius here um, and that came out with the Ace of Swords. So you've got the full card in reverse, the Two of Swords in reverse, the Temperance in the upright and then the Ace of Swords in reverse. So I'm wondering whether you've had to almost tell yourself a bit of a lie to regain some stability you might not be being honest with yourself. We'll come back around and we'll clarify that. Um, but it looks like you may be thinking that you've made, you know, a bit of a frivolous decision here. Okay, eight of pentacles. Oof, they are talking. Yeah, look at these work cards coming out. Okay, you might be tied to your work in week two here. We've got the three of pentacles and um, the eight of swords in reverse, again with the regret. All right, what else have we got in the second week of October for Cancer, please? Second week of October for Cancer. Yeah, I'm feeling there's a strong focus on work. Yeah, you're trying to heal from whatever's happened in this first week. Strong focus on work. Maybe trying to distract yourself in that second week, Cancer. What's happening in the third week up to the 17th of October for Cancer, please? In love. Love messages for Cancer. Look at you moving on, charging ahead with your own card in your element here, which is great. I feel like you're regaining that balance that you're trying to tell yourself that, oh, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, but you might not. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like you're faking it till you make it up here, down here. In this third week, you're making it, which is great. Cancer, third week, love messages for cancer. Beautiful. Yeah, the battle is over. You're like, I'm done with this. Yeah, I'm not fighting anymore. I'm not fighting for this anymore, whatever this is. All right, let's see what we've got. We're going to move these out so we can clarify. The cards have already brought up some automatic clarifiers, some spirit selection clarifiers, which is okay. So like I said, in the in the first week, you, you kind of made this, I don't know, I feel like it's a bit of a rash decision even um, with a full card in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. You might not be feeling entirely comfortable with this decision, but again, you're just kind of faking it till you make it. Second week, it looks like a lot of focus on trying to move on um, and focusing on work. Um, you may have had some regret about not, like you're neglecting your work recently, possibly because of this situation. Um, and then by the third week, we see this, this sort of transformative energy where you're kind of like, you know what, I'm going to charge forward on my chariot because that's what I do as a Cancer. So whatever, I'm leaving this in the past. You've got the Five of Swords here. There's this... Uh, it's almost like I'm going to move forward at any cost here. I've, I've, I've won the battle. Um, I don't know if I even want to play in the war anymore. I'm not fighting for this. So we'll see what it is that you're not fighting for with some clarifiers. 
All right, let's get some more information on the full card first, please. Why is this full in reverse? Why is the full in reverse? Mm. Two's in reverse everywhere. <laughs> so one more, please, for the full in reverse. This is... Oh, and there's that five of swords. Okay, so that's telling a bit of a story between the link here. You may have felt betrayed by someone. Someone may have actually betrayed you. And as a result, you've made this rash decision and you're not quite sure um, over here if if it's the right decision with this ace of, ace of swords in reverse. But with the two of wands, you've decided to push forward anyway. You've made probably quite a quick decision. Um and I think that it's tied to the fact that this Five of Swords is in reverse. What is interesting is, like I said, by this third week, you're moving forward. You're not fighting about this anymore. The Five is in reverse. You've regained control over this battle. Um, and you're not letting any betrayal control you anymore. It's like, I will move on at all cost from this. What is the Ace of Swords? Anything else you can tell us about the Ace of Swords in reverse? Yeah, heartbreak. You're not sure that you've made the right decision because this decision has hurt you. But I feel like you've gone and done what's best for you in this situation. Um, you may have felt like this person made a fool of you with their betrayal. Um, and you've had to, I feel like you've probably cut someone off and it's hurting you. And you're, you're acting to the rest of the world like you're in control, like you're balanced here. But like I said, this Ace of Swords in reverse, it's, it's actually hiding a little bit of heartache in the background. All right. Um, what do we want to see about this Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh, well, they all just came out very quickly, didn't they? <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. So again, it looks like instead of focusing on making any love offers or getting involved um, or even having communi like a, a communication, I feel like you don't even want to talk to this person. Um, you're trusting your intuition, you're taking a break from them. And again, I think it is because you may not have been giving your work uh, uh, the necessary attention. So you're like, well, I'm going to redirect my focus because I don't want to focus on you anymore. So I'm going to focus on my work. If you're not working, it could be school. Um, if you're not working or going to school, you could just be working on yourself and trying to do some self-improvement, or it could be any one of those things. You will know how that resonates best for you, but you're really getting in touch with, um, your spiritual self again, your higher self, um, there's a lot of reflection in this four of swords as well. This is also a healing card, but it's because you're like, I'm kind of done with this love connection here with this page of cups in reverse and I'm not giving it any energy. I'm redirecting my energy to something that, um, I have a little bit more control over. Let's see what we've got here. Five of wands in reverse, please. Five of wands in reverse. Five of wands in reverse. Yeah, and the Four of Cups. So I think that you're reflecting on the past, thinking of what's happened, um, maybe looking at what that big cup had to offer and realizing that, you know what, was it full of love or was it full of poison? Um, but this is a really contemplative energy, but that you're not you're not actually going to fight to change it. Anything else from the five of wands in reverse? And by change it, I mean, it's. I don't feel like you're going to fight to get this person back. You're kind of just sitting in a space of, I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to fight for the connection. I may miss you with this four of wands and I am, sorry, the four of cups. And I'm looking back um, at the opportunity that this could have had, but... I'm also not accepting it. I'm not taking that cup. One more, please, for the five of wands in reverse. Oh, we got two. Mm. <laughs> so while you're not fighting for it, you're also not letting it go. You're not ready to let it go here. There's this element of codependency here with the Empress in reverse. Um and the world card in reverse. Mm. So 
So you may be struggling. I think you're definitely in your head here and your mind has made a decision, but I think emotionally you may be struggling to let go of that energy, which is fine. That will take time, right? Um, you've already moved from five of swords in reverse to five of swords in the upright. So there's progression here, which is really good. All right, let's get you some advice. What advice is there, please, for Cancer for the first half of October, first to the 17th? Advice for Cancer, please. Ooh. Move slowly. Don't rush anything. Don't rush your healing. Don't rush the way you feel. Just proceed slowly. Look at this Five of Swords coming out again three times there has been some major betrayal here too because it's twice in reverse someone's really and this is what it's kind of saying like move slowly you were badly hurt this person really did do the wrong thing by you um and you can't rush that like you can't rush that level of recovery that you that you need when those situations happen yeah it's about learning and reflecting. You've got the seven of pentacles in reverse. You might feel like you haven't or you're not learning anything from this situation or what can I possibly learn from this situation? All it did was bring me hurt. That will come in time. You will move towards that slowly. This will this will flip and then you'll, you'll be like, oh, those are the lessons from the past. Um, but at the moment, I feel like there's still a blockage from the... Um, from the betrayal and I feel like you're not going to be able to look at those lessons until you're in this five of ones five of I don't know why I keep saying five of ones five of swords in the upright because once this unblocks it's actually going to unblock that and then you'll be walking through this healing through to this six of swords so um I think the the key here cancer is just give yourself time I know that you're not in a good space here because it hurts and you're like wondering well did I do the right thing and you know but I couldn't let this person make a fool of me because they betrayed you um, but also don't try and rush this healing process I know you don't want to feel this way but you just have to let it be you just have to let it kind of play out unfortunately what romance advice do you have for cancer please for this half of the month first half of the month in October romance angel advice oh Again, with the jumpy cards here. Okay, it is safe for you to love. So it's telling me that you will find love again. Now, is it with this person? Yeah, I don't think so. You will find true love. Um, I think emotionally you're still disconnecting from this person. That doesn't mean that they'll never come around again. That doesn't mean that you'll never have something again with them. But at the moment as it stands, I think it's telling you that you will actually find love again. You will actually find a connection where you feel safe to love again. Um, so don't abandon it all. Don't just think, no, I, I don't want to ever give love again and I'm giving love away. Um, that's kind of not the right direction to go in. Give yourself time. Give yourself time to get over this betrayal um, and heal over here with this Six of Swords. You're starting your healing journey in that second week of October because there's still a lot of pain in this first week. So, um, you know, don't rush this. Just take your time. Go ahead. Just noting that I'm looking at the clock and it's 444 right now. So that may or may not mean something to you. There's two twos here as well coming up. Four, four. So um, go and check out what the angel number messages are for 444. Four, four. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Um, and that may have an additional message for you. All right, Cancer, thanks so much. If you need a personal read, make sure you check out the details, uh, including the types of readings and the um, prices below. I get a lot of people who just email me going, can I have a personal reading, which is great, but it just slows the whole process down. So uh, if you want something kind of quickly and moving along make sure that you give me as much information as I need including what type of reading you want and um, that will make sure that it all happens smoothly have a great week great month and I will talk to you all very soon